It's the big night, the fourth annual JCs are here where we award the very best things of the year for accounting firms. Tonight, we are running through the greatest hits, the greatest flops, and my top three new things of the year. Building on elite company of past winners. Last year, we had Soraban, Keeper the year before, and Uncat the year before that. Now, let's dive right in with the number three, number three new thing of the year. Taking home the bronze JC, it is Digits Chat Assistant, an AI assistant that is connected to your QuickBooks ledger. And this is a launch we were actually very excited for. Clear back in January, when we were making AI predictions for the year, who's gonna be the first to connect QuickBooks to a chat assistant? And the big question, is that actually a thing that's useful that anybody wants? And admittedly, Jerry's still out on that. And Intuit has announced their own version of this. We don't actually have our hands on it yet, but a lot of big brain folks out there, Bill Gates, kind of tech think people, say that chat is the future of computing. We're just gonna tell these assistants to do our bidding. But what does that look like for accounting? Because what I want is a chat assistant that can serve as sort of a buffer between me and my clients. Answer some of my client questions, the easy ones, but I still need to be in a loop, right? I won't blindly trust the output for complex questions. So we're still figuring out what it looks like to coexist with a chat assistant that's helpful to my clients, but me, the advisor, still wants to be involved. Congrats to Digits on the Bronze JC. You can pick up your award at the Coat Check. Okay, here are three honorable mentions. Then we'll get to our flops of the year. It's some, it's some hot tea. Okay, first honorable mention. This is a new one, Spark by Rightworks. As they put it, ChatGPT, purpose-built for accounting. And as exciting and powerful as ChatGPT is, with all this tech, the really exciting version of this stuff is when they put it through the lens, the very specific lens of how we work, the problems we solve, the pains our clients have. Now, Rightworks, the artist previously known as Right Networks, they have launched their own chat assistant that you can go take for a spin, like ChatGPT for accounting. Now, what does an accounting specific version of ChatGPT look like? Honestly, at this point, I'm not really sure, but they're taking a whack at it, go give it a try. Another honorable mention, QuickBooks Ledger. What, what, Intuit? You're letting Intuit into this? Hey, credit where credit is due. This is a killer launch from Intuit, a new low cost version of QuickBooks Online, especially great if you're a tax pro doing once a year book cleanup for your clients. This is a super easy way to get them onto the platform and hopefully get those businesses on like an ongoing bookkeeping plan. Now in short, QuickBooks Ledger is a stripped back version of QuickBooks Online for when you don't need all the bells and whistles. It's actually something Xero has had for a while, this little baby version of the platform. And I got a ton of use of that back when I was in practice. So great to see this from QuickBooks. Okay, one more honorable mention before we get to the flops. Stick with me here, the Elgato prompter. Now, why do you need a teleprompter in your life? Well, a lot of us are starting to wade a little more into video. Maybe in the way that we deliver things to our clients. Maybe we're making little Loom videos for our team. But what about those important videos where you wanna make sure you say things just right? You know the ones that take you like 100 tries? Teleprompters, baby. Now in the past, a teleprompter, it has been a big old piece of equipment. You gotta have a stand for it. You gotta have like an iPad to bounce the words off the screen. It's just a big old fuss. But Elgato just shipped a super basic version of this that'll work great for you. It isn't a huge monstrosity. You can put it on a little desk mount. You don't have to put a phone or an iPad in it. It's basically like an additional monitor. There's a screen built into it. Plug it in, move the stuff you gotta say onto it, and it's gonna be a super quick and easy teleprompter setup for those videos that you just don't wanna get wrong. Okay, let's get on. Let's get on to the flops. Then I'm gonna award second place. Okay, stinkers of the year here. First one, none other than Microsoft Copilot. You know. The earth-shattering tool that Microsoft announced back in February got us all foaming at the mouth for how this is going to make us wildly more productive. Connect all of our Microsoft data into our dream assistant, generate emails for us, pull together files, transcripts, projects, emails, pure knowledge work, nirvana. Well, it's taken a long time to get it. And it ultimately took Google launching their own version of this for Microsoft to even give us a launch date, which was November 1st. November 1 rolls around and they say, well, we're actually only gonna give this to people who will commit 300 licenses straight out of the gate and are on an enterprise plan. And that ain't me. It ain't me. <laughs> ain't me. <laughs> but we are coming up on almost a year of the little folks like you and I still not being able to get our hands on this. And it may be huge when it drops. And honestly, I hope that it is and I hope it's great. But please don't make me wait a year after you release your razzle dazzle video. Okay, second flop, 
everything related to tax research. If you look at how good language models are, how language models are using browsing and beginning to cite sources in meaningful ways, it leads you to believe, oh man, this ought to make my tax research tool a whole lot better, right? Wrong, this hasn't happened yet. Honestly, Google Bard might be the very best tax research tool out there right now, and that is a sad state of things. Like Microsoft Copilot, I hope this flips on its head. I want a version of this. AI should make our research tools fundamentally better and hopefully we get it soon. Last flop, Apple. Hello? Everybody's moving on AI. Apple has the very best chipset to do all things AI, to run language models locally. Apple Silicon is 10 times better than like a Windows CPU or having to have a big sweaty expensive graphics card on your Windows machine to do AI stuff locally. Apple is in the perfect position for this. And this is a situation where I feel like Apple may have taken the too cool for school thing maybe just a little bit too far. Now, hopefully that changes next year because they have the perfect hardware to let us do cool AI stuff with it. Perfect. Okay, enough flops. Let's award our second place thing of the year, the silver JC. It goes to Carbon for their launch of Carbon AI. Now this year, every time we see this big announcement from Microsoft or Google about exciting new AI stuff, people go, what, what do little old companies in the accounting space gonna do, huh? You're gonna get gobbled up by the big guys. You know what? Carbon shipped generative email before you could get it in Gmail. And as we talked about, we are still waiting on this from Microsoft. Carbon shipped generative email, email summarization, some other cool built-in AI enabled stuff within the platform. And the biggest one for me, generative email replies. That is using the thread of an email to compose a draft reply for you. Now there are a number of practice management systems now doing cool AI stuff. But as a suite of helpful AI things, what Carbon launched earlier this year absolutely set the bar for practice management systems. And we need to reward these companies who are shipping cool stuff. And remember, when we are looking around and seeing like, okay, Microsoft actually isn't shipping anything. Okay, Google's moving pretty slow. When we've got people in our space putting cool stuff into our hands, bravo, Silver JC for you. Now, a few more honorable mentions before we get to the Golden JC. Up next, we talked about this a bit. Google Bard, but specifically Google Bard fact checking. Check this out. Everybody knows AI chatbots are big fat liars, right? The problem of hallucination? Well, Google taught Bard to not trust itself. And it uses this little Google button under each response. You can click on it and it will now go online to see if it can find sources that will corroborate the statement that it gave you. And if it can, it'll highlight those statements in green. If it can't, it'll highlight them in orange to indicate that they may not be correct. And as we think through, how do we solve the hallucination problem? Man, I love this. This makes a ton of sense. It'll actually give you citations with each statement to make sure that it's right. It's like it's going back and double checking its work. Now, will Google Bard ultimately be the platform that we all use for research? Probably not, but it is an awesome concept that others can borrow from to build proof into the output. And we are struggling right now with the black box nature mm. of AI. And so what we actually want is not this answer coming from a black box. It is proof that this is the answer because we ultimately can't blindly trust an answer from AI with no other context. Next up, kitchen table automations, educational content put together by CPA Ashley Francis. Stuff like 30 days of AI, little the wee bite-sized learnings that you can consume each day to keep up to speed on all things AI. How about some tools to get your team up to speed with AI chatbots, but doing so in a secure way. It is good content, but what I really love about it is this is accountants building stuff for accountants. The folks who have an intimate understanding of what we need actually building the solution. Now, obviously I am now, I don't know, full-time creator, whatever you want to call it. I'm a big advocate of more accountants doing what I do, using a megaphone to help software companies, to help practitioners get better at what they do with your own experience, through your lens of having actually done it yourself. A few other examples, Logan Graff is doing this as well with his YouTube channel now. For two years, he's shared his small firm financials beginning to end, how much money he's making, how he's built that firm completely from scratch. Now we've got Laurelyn Wilson, another practitioner with a company, Mad Media, which is like, a newsletter subscription service to make it as easy as possible for you to create content for your clients. Basically it gives you a few articles to choose from. You can swipe those, you can repurpose them, making it as easy as possible to build out that client newsletter. I'll put links to both of those down below. Would love to see more practitioners get into the business of serving practitioners. Okay, a few more honorable mentions before we get 
to the big award. Up next, the CPA.com Generative AI Toolkit. The big brain folks at the AI CPA and CPA.com put together the first of a multi-part generative AI toolkit to help accounting firms get up to speed on generative AI. Because honestly, we're all a little overwhelmed by what's happening right now. Having a hard time putting it through the lens of, okay, how exactly does this impact how my firm works today? And this is the first step by CPA.com in helping people get to grips with this stuff. It's actually something that I helped them put together. And a big reason why is they're giving it out to everybody. You literally just have to go to the landing page. I'll link it in the video description. Don't have to be an AICPA member. Anybody can grab it. Go check that one out. Man, I would love to see more groups investing in resources like this for our profession. To that end, the next honorable mention, the PM report. And yes, this is a thing that I made. And yes, I'm awarding myself an honorable mention. It's all about me but it's super useful. We put together a huge report on the 14 cloud practice management systems your small accounting firm needs to be considering. Did a feature roundup of over 200 different features across these platforms. Save you a ton of time in selecting your next practice management system because we need to get off the legacy systems, the desktop systems we've been using. Cloud systems have come a really long ways, are light years ahead of the systems being offered by our tax software providers. And my goal with this report is just to amplify how mature these offerings have gotten, how good they are. Grab that report down below. It was a pile of work. Okay, one more honorable mention, AI meeting assistants. And honestly, there's a bunch of these tools right now. The big three are probably Fireflies, Fathom, not to be confused with the reporting company Fathom, it's a meeting assistant Fathom, and Microsoft Teams Premium. The other day, I put out a call on social media. I said, what is the most impactful thing you've adopted in your accounting firm this year? And one of the most common responses was AI meeting assistance because most of us still are not gathering transcripts for the virtual meetings we have with clients. And it is akin to having an email policy where you're just gonna delete everything after you talk about it. Just send the email, delete it. You wouldn't do that, right? Well, when it comes to virtual meetings, there is so much context that is lost inside these meetings that we are not capturing. Imagine if you could go back and have transcripts of every client meeting you've had for the last five years Man, how valuable would that be? Now, these meeting assistants are still being like normalized. Having one in a meeting with you, maybe it's still a little odd, but it's worth drilling down into the objections your clients may have. If their objection is, I don't want this meeting to be recorded, I don't want them to have what I said on record, then buddy, that's probably not a conversation I wanna be having with you anyways, right? And the best thing you can do here from a practical standpoint, just set that expectation from day one. We are going to capture these meetings. It's gonna make my team more productive. We're not gonna have to go back and ask you clarifying questions quite so much. And for you, when you're in a busy season, you got a whole bunch of meetings and you are the blocker for the rest of your team to pass along those meeting notes. Gang, your team can get immediate access to those meeting notes, to the full transcript, as soon as the meeting is over. That is a really big unlock. But enough honorable mentions, let's do the big one. The Golden JC for 2023. It's gonna go to none other than Right Tool. Right Tool, it is a Chrome extension that improves upon QuickBooks in pretty much every way, and it is absolutely free to use. If you use QuickBooks, you should be using Right Tool. There is a pro version that does even more, but man, this kind of thing gets me so excited because it is one, something literally anybody can get started with for free. It's not super expensive. And a lot of the tech in our space, frankly, has gotten like pretty darn expensive. Worth it, but expensive. And two, it was built by somebody who's an actual practitioner, fellow internet think person, Hector Aww. Garcia. And it puts a big happy smile on my face to see a practitioner have such success shipping a sweet tool for other accountants. So congrats to Right Tool. Well, now a couple months back, we did a sponsored demo day, full disclosure, on the channel. I ran through how it works in five minutes. A bunch of people got really excited. Check that one out if you haven't yet seen what Right Tool does. And what did we miss? What's something you picked up this year that you're super jacked about? Drop it in the comments. And here's to having a super awesome 2024.